Hello there, Samantha Garrett here, and today we're gonna to take a look at Google Keep, but more specifically, we're gonna take a look at my five top tips for getting more with Google Keep. So let's not waste any time, let's dive straight in and take a look at these tips. Alrighty, so here we are in Keep. Now, tip number one, we are gonna click on a note to open it, and we're gonna talk about collaborating on a Google Keep note. So just like most files in Google Drive, um, you can share Google Keep notes. So down the bottom here, you'll see a little person with the plus, again, very similar to the share icon you would see in Google Drive. And if we click on that, we can add a collaborator. So we can just pop in their, their um, email here. So it does have to be a Google account. And then they'll get an email saying that the uh, Google Keep note has been shared with them and it will show in their Google Keep. Now, what's really cool about this is these notes are fully collaborative. So if you uh, add something to the note, they'll see it right away. If they add something, you'll see it. I love it when you've got a list like this kind of note because people can be adding things to that list, crossing them off, and it'll be visible to everyone. Now, tip number two is around reminders. So this is a little icon here on the left, this little one that says, remind me. Now there's two types of reminders we can put on a Google Keep note. We can put a reminder with a date and time, so a very traditional ones. So you might have, um, for example, like an agenda item, some agenda items for a meeting, and you put on the reminder at the same time as that meeting. So it pops up and you're like, oh, that's right. That's what I have to chat about with them. So that's that one. That, uh, the second one, which I absolutely love, is a place-based reminder. So you'll see down here, select place. So if I go into this, it will actually want to know my location in the browser if I've not already done it. Um, so I'm just gonna allow that, and then I can start typing a location. Now this is all linked into Google Maps, which is great. So what basically happens is you could do something like put the local supermarket down or your local hardware store, or perhaps you're going stationary shopping for the office. You could put that in. And then when you rock up at that location, assuming you've got Google Keep on your phone, which I hope you do, this will actually pop up as the, as the reminder when you get to that place. It's also really good if you're perhaps spending some time working at home, some at the office, and you want something to pop up when you're in the office, this, that will do that as well, which is great. So that was number two. Now, number three is using labels. So if we come over here to these little dots, the little more button, you'll see there's an option to add a label. So these labels are a way to add extra organization to your Google Keep note. Now, I currently don't have any labels, so I'm gonna show you in a minute how to go and add them. But if I was to click add label here, I can enter a label name. So I'm gonna put one in here, just demo, and you'll see I can create it straight away. So that's easy, so we'll do that. And you'll see now it's got demo down the bottom here on the note and I could click little X if I wanted to remove it from that note. But if I click close, you'll also see on the left here, I now see demo. That is the label. And if I click on that, all the labels, all the notes that I've given that label to will show up. So similar to how when you're in Gmail and you wanna just sort of see particular emails in a particular label works very much the same. Now, if you wanna change the labels or add more, you can click on the little edit labels underneath here. And that will show the list of labels you've created. We can create new ones. We can edit the name of one. Um, we can also delete it if we want to. Okay, so that means we're on to number four. So let's jump back to our notes section. Number four is adding a drawing to a keep note. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. If you are starting with a brand new note, so up here where it says take a note, You'll see one of the options here is new note with drawing. So that's the quickest and easiest way to do it. But if you've got an existing note, you can open that up. So let's just go back with this one again. And from those little, that little three dots, a little more menu, we can add a drawing from here as well. So either either. Now I'm just gonna do a fresh one. So we'll come in here. Now you'll notice that when this opens, it opens like a whole canvas that you can be working on. Now, this is super cool because you can actually ink in here. So if you have a device with a pen or a pencil or stylus or whatever it might be, you actually can do proper inking here in Google Keep. And at the time of recording this video, this is like one of the only Google products you can do this in. So I think it's super powerful. So you could be taking your handwritten notes, you could be drawing stuff, whatever that might look like. So up the top here, you'll see we've got our drawing tools, our different ones, highlighters, pens, all of that. We can also put a background on with our dots or whatever if we want to, rules, whatever, to make that easier. Um, so I'll just do just a quick one with my Woo, there we go. <laughs> Lovely with my mouse. Um, and we'll click back. 
you'll see it's there. We can also give the note, uh, so the note a title. So we'll just call this drawing and we'll close it and you'll see it's there. Okay, so yeah, really love this. Great for doing some inking in a Google tool. So that brings us to number five. Last but not least is I want to show you how you can archive notes and then search for them. So let's open up this test note here. Now, you might be familiar with the concept of archiving from the Gmail um, land. This is a little bit different, but essentially it just gets the note off the main screen here, but it doesn't delete it. It pops it in the archive. So you'll see here we've got the little archive button. So if I click that, this note's going to disappear from the main um, screen. And on the left here, we've got archive. And if I come in, you'll see the note there. So I really love this. I use it a lot because there's notes that I want to keep, but I want to also keep my main note screen nice and organized. So I archive everything that I no longer need to actively see. But this is extra powerful when coupled with search. So if you use keep for a long time, you're going to have a lot of notes there. Um, so what you can do, you can just come up to the search bar here and you can search. So I think I had the word blah on that note. So for example, I'll do blah. There you go. It's come up nice and simple. So you can search on keyword, but you can also search on different types of notes. You can see there you can search based on labels, um, different things on the note, people, all of that kind of stuff, even the colors. So just on that just on that note, haha, no pun intended. With these colors here, if that's something you aren't sure how to do, I'll kind of pop in a bonus tip for you here. So on any note, you can open it up and down the bottom, sorry, down the bottom here on the little paint palette, you can change the color and you can also put a background image if you like. So those colors there will then correspond in the search, the colors that you can search by here. So you might have particular themes associated with the colors and then you can keep track of them that way. Okay, so there we go. My five top tips for using Google Keep. Now, of course, this is just the beginning. So um, there are a couple of other little videos I've done with more tips. So I'll make sure I pop the links to those um, in the description below. So be sure to check them out if you wanna know even more. So thanks so much for watching. Do subscribe if you haven't already for more Google tips and tricks. And I will see you again soon. Bye for now.